after a dramatic escalation in the war between Israel and Hamas over the weekend when Iran launched an unprecedented direct attack on Israel. Israel said today that they will respond, intensifying an already violent conflict playing out in the Middle East. CBS 2's Jessica Moore here in studio with how the White House is responding today. Jessica. Well, Christine and Maurice, the decades-long shadow war between Israel and Iran is now fully out in the open. While the damage on the ground in Israel was somewhat minimal, the world now braces for potential maximum impact as Israel weighs its response. President Biden met with Iraq's prime minister Monday as the White House confirms some of the Iranian missiles were launched from Iraq. The United States is committed to Israel's security. We're committed to a ceasefire that will bring the hostages home and preventing conflict from spreading beyond what it already has. This is the moment Iran launched hundreds of drones, crews, and ballistic missiles toward Israel on Saturday. Many of the aerial weapons pinging off Israel's Iron Dome. Others shot down by fighter jets from the U.S., U.K., France, and Jordan. 99% deterred, according to Israeli Defense Forces. Iran says it launched the attack in self-defense after an Israeli attack on the Iranian consulate in Syria and that the matter would be deemed concluded unless Israel strikes Iranian targets again. As the president told Prime Minister Netanyahu on the phone Saturday night, this was an extraordinary success uh, and you ought to look at it as an extraordinary success. President Biden told Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu the U.S. will not support an Israeli counterattack on Iran. But as Iranian citizens celebrated the attack, Israeli officials say the country's war cabinet is determined to respond. We will continue to be prepared and poised to implement any instructions that the government gives us. The Iranian strikes come as U.S.-Israeli relations strain under the weight of Netanyahu's handling of the ongoing war in Gaza. UNICEF says more than 13,000 children have been killed in Israeli airstrikes and famine and disease are widespread. Israel saying its planned invasion of Rafah is temporarily on hold. While I won't go into operational specifics, of course, that operation is still on the table. It still needs to be completed for us to be successful in completing our mission against Hamas. U.S. lawmakers say they plan to meet in the next hour to discuss a plan to provide funding for Israel that would also include funding for Ukraine. President Biden this afternoon urging Congress to pass the spending bill. Christine Maurice. Thank you for the update, Jessica. And